So uh, we're here in the medicinal plant library um, here in Lacey. Here we have a, about uh, 8,000 plants and about a quarter of a million fractions of those plants. It's important for you to know that this is the largest functional medicinal plant library in the world. That is, uh, there are other plant libraries, but they are classification libraries. Um, if you went to London Botanical, for example, or the Smithsonian, uh, and you looked at their library and you said, hey, what would happen if I ate this? Um, they couldn't tell you. That's a classification library and it's useful, but it's much more useful for us to know what happens when a human being would ingest a certain plant. What does it do? And more importantly, how does it do what it does? You see, in our exploration of, of natural products, um, we go as deep as you can possibly go, all the way down to the DNA level, because we're rather obsessed with quality control, number one, to make sure that you'll get the same benefit from the same product year after year and for decades to come. At the same time, uh, we're always looking to improve our products. And so again, right now we're adding about um, a thousand plants a year to our library. So um, if you're looking at these jars, again, about 8,000 plants, about a quarter of a million fractions, and adding about a thousand plants a year, this is our intake area. So and what you're looking at here is a, about a month's worth. And, and these plant samples are coming from strategic alliances that we have around the world, in Africa, in India, in China, um, South America. And so again, we don't just run through the forest uh, picking plants and guessing which ones have medicinal value. We, we use an ethnobotanist to, to study the indigenous cultures and to, to show us what plants have been used by those cultures for sometimes thousands of years. That's a good place to start, but traditional information is not really enough, is it? You need to have traditional use information combined with good old Western analytical science, and that's our next step. So here we are in organic chemistry. This is where we take plants apart. Now, as you'll see, there's flash evaporators, uh, columns, there's filters, the technology which is used to, to find out the composition of a plant. Now, the interesting thing is with, the, with conventional chemistry, you can only find what you're looking for. So you have to know its chemical composition, its molecular weight, something about it needs to be known so that you can locate that particular ingredient. But if you'll follow me down the hall here to another piece of technology, you'll see that we can now find what we're not looking for. With the LCMS, a liquid chromatograph tied to a mass spectrometer, and GCMS, the same technology tied to a gas chromatograph, we're able to now find uh, even what we're not looking for. You could literally take plant samples and develop a high throughput analysis to find every chemical component in every plant in our entire medicinal plant library. That kind of technology does not exist in, a, in an ordinary conventional natural products company. In fact, this kind of technology only exists in really, really high quality um, analysis labs like at a leading university or a pharmaceutical company. We're now at the quality control lab. And if you're dealing with synthetic molecules that never change, quite frankly, quality control is easy, right? But when you're dealing with plants, plants change constantly because of changes in the weather, the soil, the, how they were harvested, how long they were stored. And so because of all those variables, we have to be particularly careful to make sure that we have the same quality of ingredient going in every batch of every product. And that's why we fingerprint every ingredient with HPLC technology, which you see here. Now, uh, a lot of companies have HPLC, maybe one HPLC machine. Uh, we have a, well, 11 and a full-time staff of five. We're kind of obsessed with quality control. Now let's get to the really exciting lab, which is genomics. And here we are in discovery and screening. Now the interesting thing about this is that the people in the analytical part of the building, uh, they've got the hard work. Uh, the people here, it's mostly automated. No, I'm just kidding. The molecular biologists here are really brilliant. They look at the reams and reams of data every day, which is developed by basically one of these. Um, this is a 96 well plate, which means that we can, we can probe one gene against 96 separate plant compounds, or we can turn that around and measure 96 genes against the same compound. Either way, you're getting a tremendous amount of information every single day. The, the chip scanner behind me, um, holds 
holds 200 of these and runs the entire analysis in about one day. So you can imagine the amount of data that is accumulated and we're looking for what? We're looking for a, an alteration of gene expression produced by one of those plant compounds. That means that there is some effect at the DNA level. What we're doing is learning how to protect and restore gene function because don't forget your DNA is being damaged all the time and there are forces the, from the diet that you have to your attitude to the thoughts that you think that's genomics at its very best so now let's 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 wrap this up um, you know now that what's bugging you right now whatever that is is really not the problem and I'm not making light of it but it's really not your cholesterol, your blood pressure, your, your expanding waistline, your failing memory, your headaches. These are the symptoms of one cause and that is aging. Um, how do I know that? None of those things happened when you were young. So which would you rather do? Chase after all the symptoms day after day, year after year or would you rather deal with the underlying cause of those symptoms um, and, and in that case many of the symptoms of aging will not arise and those that arise will be easier to treat. So what we want to do is the intelligent thing which is to deal with the underlying cause of what's bugging us and that's aging. How do you do that? You push up on repair, you push down on damage, and you alter the aging process itself. So far, so good. Now, what do I do today? Well, what you do today is you start with Ageless Extra. Why? Because that's the product that's going to have the impact. It's going to have a, 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 an effect that you can see, feel, and measure. Now, how do I know that? Well, we've sold it to hundreds of thousands of people. Um, we've gotten a tremendous response from these people. The company is growing. You can be part of that, but part of it meaning that I want you to try it. Uh, and again, for how long? It's important to understand that this is not a magic bullet. You don't take Ageless Extra and then in, in a week you're all better. Um, what I want you to understand that this is a process. Just like renewal is a process, 300 billion cells at a time, the benefits that you're going to experience from Ageless Extra are cumulative. That means that uh, you're going to feel something fairly quickly, usually the energy and the mental clarity. Uh, but a lot of the compounds require time to reach maximum tissue concentrations. Uh, protectin takes a, a while sometimes a month or so to get to the damaged areas of your body to stimulate repair. Um, so what I'm saying is that we'd like you to try Ageless Extra for at least 90 days. Uh, give it a, uh, 90 days and in return what we'll give you is a guarantee that in those 90 days if you don't experience significant improvements in how you look, feel, and perform we'll be happy to give you your money back. So I think that's a pretty good deal. It's an irresistible offer if I've ever heard one and that is here's a product which is safe, a product which is effective, a product that has produced benefits in hundreds of thousands of individuals and you can join those individuals, experience those benefits and again experience aging in a completely different way. I hope you'll join us and thanks for listening.